Hello, welcome to another episode of our low carb cooking Eat to Heal with yours truly, your diet doctor, Dr. Josephine Grace Rohatan. And today, gagawa tayo ng ating breakfast. And we will use one of the controversial na ingredients sa usual na Pinoy kitchen. And that is kalabasa or squash. So, we know na kalabasa is in our caution list. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, hindi po unlimited yung intake ng kalabasa. Because too much kalabasa, although mayaman ito sa vitamin A and some fibers, pero pwede itong tumaas sa net carbs if hindi kayo aware kung gaano karami yung kakainin ninyo. So, we will just measure our kalabasa and make sure na hindi tayo lalagpas sa ating 50 gram of carbohydrate limit in a day. So, we will start now together with our breakfast food para marami tayong maluto in one setting. So, let's start. So, this is ginataang kalabasa or pumpkin soup. But usually, some other cuisine na yung pumpkin soup nila, uh, yung ginagamit nila is cream or heavy cream. But in here, since nasa Pilipinas tayo, we will use gata. So, we will just start with this one. So, yung kalabasa per 100 grams ay nasa 6 to 8 net carbs. So, this is approximately nasa 400 grams. And we will put 1 cup of gata. So, 1 cup of gata. Ito yung mixture natin from the other day. So, this is just 1 cup. And add na lang tayo ng water para madilute ng konti. And per cup of coconut milk would be about 6 grams then ng net carb. So, approximately magiging parang nasa 30 grams nut carb ang buong mixture na ito. Ating kalabasa and gata. So, yan lang. Lagay lang natin. And yung kalabasa is actually not a vegetable but a fruit. That's why before, nung hindi pa ako naka low carb at hindi pa kami masyado kumakain ng gulay, for us, yung kalabasa is one of the hardcore vegetables. Kasi parang sobrang vegetable. But when we started doing low carb, I realized na kalabasa pala ay matamis. And true enough, matamis siya because kalabasa is actually a fruit. Isa pala siyang frutas at hindi siya vegetable. So, that's why fruits in general, nasa caution list yan. Kung pwede pang alang halos lahat. Although we include avocado and berries as part of our safe list. But generally, hindi talaga pang unlimited yung intake ng fruits in general. Kahit pa avocado pa yan. So, hayaan na natin yung ating kalabasa na lumambot while we will prepare for our other food. So, this is going to be my first meal. It's nearing 1 p.m. in the afternoon. At magluluto tayo because I've been dreaming about this for quite a while. Magluluto tayo ng ating pancake. Gawa sa ating ultimate keto pastry mix. So, ang ating mixture ay yung Lupiti mix lang. We will ready our waffle maker. So, magluluto tayo ng waffle. Waffle is just a pancake with abs. So, meron lang siyang design, but generally, it's the same. So, ito pa rin yung mix natin. So, we just need one. So, this is just for one prep one person preparation lang. So, you already know this. Mm, sobrang bango. So, just one tablespoon of Ultimate Keto Pastry Mix. This is available in Shopee or Lazada. I think in Shopee it's available. So, 1 tablespoon at saka isang itlog and 1 tablespoon of oil also. So, any oil is okay. So, this one is lard and talo. So, <laughs> combination na to ng taba ng baboy at taba ng baka. So, I will use this one because hindi ako takot na tumaas ang aking LDL. As long as yung aking triglycerides ay mababa yung aking VLDL ay mababa yung blood sugar and insulin level ko rin ay mababa and usually eto lang, so 3 ingredient lang just oil, egg and 1 is to 1 is to 1 lahat and yung ating flour, however today 
gagawin natin because the, yung sisila nito malaki so gagawan natin ng extender and your extender is just water so water lang yung gagawin natin extender and it will also make your mixture a little fluffier mm, so maybe just mga nasa 1 3 tablespoons siguro just 3 tablespoons of water I hope that's enough. And mix na natin yung ating, yung ating mixture of for our waffle. And pwede natin initin. So this one is our ever reliable waffle maker. Namin din natin for our donut maker and kung ano-ano pa. So, just that one. And then, hinaan lang to. So, usually, kung yung ibang gumagawa nito na hindi successful, yung nagdidikit-dikit yung kanilang waffle and pancake using UKP mix, it's because you turned it a little earlier. Kasi dapat medyo overcook siya ng konti para make sure na dry na dry sa loob. So, this one para mas dumami siya, di ba? So, mas mas liquid. And so, it can spread there. The downside lang, it will cook a little later. So, mas mamaya pa yung pagka medyo matagal yung kanyang cooking as compared to our usual without water na sobrang dali lamang. Okay? So, pinasimple lang natin. Other options, if you have carb allowance pa, carb limit pa for some milk maybe, you can also do that. You can, it will make your pancake even creamier na hindi na siya, hindi siya tubig lamang. But for me, right now, my preference sa pagkain ay hindi na yung usual kong preference na sobrang creamy, sobrang fatty, sobra lahat sa everything. So, we'll put this one. Ayan. Medyo mainit na. Ayan, lagay na. So, yan Tamang-tama lang. Diba? It's just exactly tamang-tama lang. Tulungan natin para ma-evenly distributed. And we will close. Hindi pa masyadong mainat. We can transfer this in this side. Ayan. And tingnan natin. So, madali lang naman lumambot yung kalabasa. Later, we will mash it na. So, mash na natin so that we will be done with our pumpkin soup. Lagyan na lang natin ng ating salt and pepper maybe. And, luto tayo ng ating bacon here. So, kamano sila, no? So, yeah. Kakasama lang sila lahat dyan so that you can see them all. So, I'm fond of doing and cooking so many things at once. Para isang lutuan lang, one time wasted, focused on cooking, but you will be able to cook so many things all at once. So, we are cooking three things all at once. And, of course, avoid processed food when you can. This is a somewhat little process because this is a smoked bacon, pero at least na lang. It's just paminsan-minsan lamang and it's still pure meat, hindi yung mga process talaga. Nakikita mo na totoo siya. Okay. Mm. So, para meron tayong bacon, waffles, and pumpkin cheese. 
I don't think mauubos ko yung soup natin. Pero ayaw ko rin kasi sirhan yung maliit na half small kalabasa na binili ko. So, para diretso. coconut cream kasi yung coconut milk malasaw kasi yung coconut cream ay mas malapot so mas samot You can also pre-process this kung gusto meron kayo yung food processor para yung pumpkin soup talaga na pinong-pino. You can have that. But for me, okay na. I've come to love squash na kahit may bilog-bilog ay na-appreciate ko na. So, then kahit hindi siya sobra-sobrang so a little squash from time to time is okay kasi pwede naman siya mapasok sa low carb pero hindi kayo aware niyan like magsasquash kayo tapos may munggo pa tapos may rice pa and then meron pa kayong soft drink. Tapos yung snacks nyo, biscuit pa, o tinapay. So, that's too much carb. But that's why he wants you to have the right mindset. Dapat alam nyo how to compute things. It's very easy lang ngayon with the internet. Kahit anong fruit, vegetable, or pagkain na maisipan ninyo, check nyo lang sa Google. Like kalabasa, nut carbs, Magkaiba ang net carbs ng cook and uncook. Or yung naluto na at saka yung hilaw pa. So, you check that one. Nandyan na lahat. So, pwede yung tingnan. So, with this one, approximately 30 gram net carb. Dito, mga nasa 1. 1 gram lang naman. Or sige, gawin na natin 2 para sa itlog. Kasi per egg, meron din 1 gram of net carbs per egg. Plus yung UKP mix natin. So, round off na natin yung 0.71. So, all in all, it's 32 gram net carbs. And for sure, hindi ko mauubos ito. So, maybe, maximum makakakain ako ng half of this. So, half of this would be 15 gram net carbs. Kahit lagyan pa natin 3. Yung bacon na yan, lagyan pa natin ng 3 gram net carbs. It's still, still just 35 gram net carb. And I think this is the most carb that I will eat in a day. Pagkagabi na, usually we eat just a little na lang. I, even if I'm pregnant, I still eat parang omad, but hindi talaga totoong omad. So, one big meal like this one. And then, yung pangalawang meal ko, yun yung lighter meal in the evening. And I think that's also the reason why never ako nagsuka, nag-morning sickness. Even if patapos na yung aking first trimester. So, I know, hindi naman magugutong yung baby ko inside because I still have some fats to lose. 
So, meron ba tayong fat reserve? So, so, meron siyang texture. If you want yung restaurant level ng pumpkin soup, so, pwede nyo siyang i-blender. Gusto nyo bang gawin natin yun? You can also do that if you want. Madali lang naman yung pag-blender nito. But, kaya man lang, medyo mainit pa. It will take some time bago ito. Maging tatamtaman. Baka masira yung blender natin kapag nag-blend tayo ng mainit. So, anong pwede dyan? I want kasi na para siyang pumpkin soup talaga. Pero, meron sana ako malunggay dun. Yung na-reserve ko ng malunggay. Para merong malunggay. Pero next time na lang, no? On second try pa naman yung pinakakailangan ng iron and calcium. So, <laughs> next month na. Ngayon, okay lang. And coconut milk also has calcium, by the way. still get some calcium from coconut milk. Yan. Yung gusto ko yung wala na nakikita ang puti na sabaw. Yung yellow na siya lahat. We can add pork here if you want. Or any meat kung gusto nyo. But for now, ako, I just wanna say for this as is lang. Hindi ko na rin maalala when was the last time na kumain ako ng ginataang kalabas. You will try to taste. Now, this one is okay na yun. Mm. So, wala siyang lasa. Parang matamis lang lahat. So, we will put nakasa natin para mas mag-evaporate yung yung water kanina. We'll put salt. tapos na rin yung ating pancake. So, we will be ready.